Hey everyone, today we'll be testing out viral TikTok hacks for photography, editing, and videography. They range from product photos to self-portraits to cool editing tips in general. So there's a lot of TikToks that I wanna try. I'm not too sure if we'll be able to fit it in all in one video, but we'll try. If you're new here, my name is Aaron Arrow. I'm a videographer and photographer, and I just wanna help you by showcasing my journey and giving my advice with what I create and hopefully it could give value to you. So please consider subscribing or leaving a like on this video. But without further to do, let's jump into the TikToks. All right, so for the first TikTok trend, I found this one where you use the spoons to create like some bokeh in front of the frame. And then I got an extra one on this hand so that I can make more as I want. But for our model, we don't have anyone else here to help us out, so I'm going to use a Coke can. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so we're back inside and that took a lot longer than expected, but I wanna keep on going with the spoons cause I think I can get more out of it and I can try more creative things. But I have a lot more TikToks in mind for this video and it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get it done tonight. So keep a lookout for part two. So for our next shot, we'll be using sugar and a product to create fake light beams to where it looks like it's hitting it right here. Um, never really done anything like this. I was super interested when I first saw this. You guys should check out his page. He does a lot of creative stuff like this. All right, here's my first attempt. I got some sugar in a bowl. Let's, I'm at two second shutter speed. So let's do this thing. I made a mess. <laughs> so it kind of worked. Um, I kind of don't like it though. See that little streak right there? So it turned out pretty good, but I'm not happy with it yet. So we're gonna switch up the setup and go for it again. All right guys, for our third one, we have something pretty interesting where we're using a mirror and a laptop and when you do that, it creates a cool little reflection for a product shot. So for that last little part there where it rolled up boss, that was actually the fourth and final TikTok that I recreated. As you can see, the guy, all he did was go onto Instagram, make a story, fill it with all black, wrote down whatever he wanted while he was screen recording, and you just blend it in post-production. And you get stuff like this, which is really dope. Um, I would think I'm gonna be using that in future videos or something like that. But that's it for today, guys. I wanna try out more TikToks, but that's all I could fit in for today. I dove deep into these ones because I didn't wanna just rush it and create something mediocre. So I really tried, I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more, leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one because I do plan on making a second part to this video. My name is Aaron Arrow, I'm a videographer and photographer and hopefully you come with me on this journey of creating. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.